I'm uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. This makes me a little nervous. Uh, which is which is good, right? You're supposed to, that's the thing now, is getting out of your comfort zone. Everyone's always saying, my friend Rebecca's always saying that on Facebook. She's like, do one thing every day that scares you. <laughs> not every day, Becky. We're, we're not in a Saw movie, calm down. <laughs> That's too many scares. There's not, there's not even that many good ideas that scare you, right? Like, like the first day you take an improv class and then you skydive and by the end of the week you find yourself down in Juarez playing spin the knife with a guy named Los Dangerous. Because you gotta get your scare in for the day. And then you've already danced like no one's watching. I like to dance like people are forced to watch me. That's how I do it. I wish this scared me all the time. If people think this is scarier than it actually is, like I met an oncologist at a party the other day and she found out I was a comedian. She's like, really? You're a comic? That's the hardest job in the world. What? <laughs> <laughs> then you are a terrible oncologist. <laughs> what do you work at Zoom care? How does... <laughs> <laughs> this is not the hardest job in the world. My job is to talk to people at a bar so they'll drink longer. Surprise. <laughs> That's the point of this contest. <laughs> and uh, look, I love the job, but I could be replaced by pretzels. That's what I do. <laughs> and this lady, she's a hero. I was like, you're a hero, you save lives. And she's like, yeah, but what if you tell a joke and nobody laughs? Everybody lives through the night, doc. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I'm a little sore tonight from a uh, a nap? Is that... Is that supposed to happen? I, my buddy Sean does that all the time as a way of like bragging about how his exercise plan, he'll like pretend he's sore so he can just brag about how much he's been lifting, you know? Like, the other day we were at breakfast and he was like, oh, sorry if I seem kind of out of it, you know, I'm just having one of those days. You know those days where you get up really early first thing in the morning, you hit the gym really hard, and you do like 500 of the Triceratops push or whatever they're called, I don't know. You do a bunch of those and set a new personal record because it's an arm day and then later you're with your girlfriend, right? And you're on top and your arms start to shake a little, you know, from all the weight you've been lifting. You know, that day? Nope. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good daydream. Have you? I, I got him back though. I was like, hey, Sean, you ever have one of these days where you put a piece of bread in the toaster to make toast for breakfast and you get bored waiting for it? So you start eating ice cream? <laughs> and then you accidentally cut too deep in the ice cream because it's a belly day. And you cut too deep, so it's gonna be obvious to your wife when she comes home that you've been day creaming again. So even though you're not hungry, you realize your only option left is to finish the entire carton of ice cream tear it into little pieces, throw them in a bunch of different trash cans. <laughs> like you're Robert Durst getting rid of a body. <laughs> go, to the, go to the grocery store, buy an identical pint of Rocky Road ice cream, eat it down to exactly the place you started, slide it back in the freezer, and then eat the toast. Because <laughs> I've had that day. I'm familiar with that day. And, uh... <laughs> Sometimes when I'm on top, my arms shake from my body weight. <laughs> Anybody else too weak to be on top? You don't have to. Don't raise your hand, that would be exhausting. I, uh... <laughs> my wife and I had a solution that we figured it out. We figured out that if you stack your pillows high enough, we slide them together, you lay on your sides. <laughs> you're at a perfect angle, you can make out. No one has to support their own torso. High five, Falcone. <laughs> It's gonna be a good double Wednesday. I'm looking forward to it. We, uh, we make love like elephant seals. It's beautiful in here, but it's not much to look at. I am married. We just had our two-year wedding anniversary, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, it's cool. It's getting kind of serious. And, uh, I, I like. I'm excited about it. She's a very lucky woman, and we. Uh, <laughs> At this point, it's too late to lie to you. Obviously, I'm not a catch. I... <laughs> These are not wrinkles. This is my shirt trying to tear itself apart. <laughs> going on here. 
I just solved the mystery the other day. I figured out why the bottom of my belly hurts. It's because it's rubbing on the top of my belt. <laughs> That's a muffin top. That's what that is. Don't feel bad if you have a muffin top, by the way. That is the best part of any muffin. It's... <laughs> I uh, also chipped a tooth one time eating pie too aggressively. <laughs> Not a catch. I was so excited about the pie that I didn't bother to take the fork all the way out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I went in too hot, two front teeth, metal fork, chipped my tooth. And my wife comes in, she's like, what happened, big guy? Uh, Cause she calls me big guy sometimes. It's about the muffin top, not the junk. So I tell her, and instead of making fun of me, she goes, yeah, pie can be tricky. That's a keeper. I'm Alex Falco. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.